Hey, what's going on there, folks? Uh, welcome back here uh, to another update on this. Well, it's Wednesday, right? Wednesday night. I'm having some issues there with that uh, little toolbar down here. Okay, we'll just deal with it. Uh, 7.15 p.m. Got a 3.8 earthquake here. Uh, surprisingly, and probably uh, just a coincidence here, that this is underneath the Discovery Bay here in Northern California. Uh, 3.8 occurring about 11 kilometers deep here. Kind of an odd one, right? Directly in this area of Disco uh, underneath this area of Discovery Bay. Um, this earthquake coming in. Oh, just within the last hour or so, there was quite a few folks reported feeling this earthquake here in the vicinity of the epicenter. Uh, again, I'm, I'm man, I'm not 100% certain which fault system this may have occurred on here. Let's go back here to the other map. We'll take a look here a little bit closer. Um, let's see, where what do we got? I know it's off of the, the main ones, but uh, obviously this is kind of a, a deeper earthquake here for this region. 3.8. Looks like it may be, uh, oh, I don't know. There's a couple different little bitty faults around here that could be associated with some of those. But uh, off of the main ones, but uh, either way, some earthquake activity ramping up out here. <laughs> Underneath Discovery Bay of all places. Goodness. Still seeing a swarm of activity down here in Southern California. Well, south of Southern Cal, down in the uh, Gulf of California. Uh, and looking at some earthquake activity here. On the Elsinore Fault as well. So a little bit of movement taking place out here uh, through the West Coast here in the last couple hours. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, decent swarm of activity out here across the Philippine Trench. Uh, most of this earthquake, uh, well, relatively shallow. There's a couple deep ones in here. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that one because... Uh, uh, definitely uh, looking like something wants to move there with those fours and fives. Uh, as far as earthquake activity down into the... Man, these guys, I, I don't know what happened here to my uh, to my windows. They just disappeared. At least I can't see them. So hopefully I'm not being hacked here. But uh, yeah, so a little on the odd side here. We'll go ahead and check out... Uh, I don't know why I have to do that. It's a little weird. Shouldn't have to. Maybe that was the reason why it was because it was down there. That makes sense. All right. The kids were here uh, kind of messing around the computer room here a little bit. So I think they may have moved something. But it uh, looks like we're back to normal. Right? <laughs> I think so. All right, folks. So looking at the bigger picture here. Notice this broad scale earthquake activity out here against the Western Pacific Plate and the adjacent plate here, the Filipino Plate. Definitely getting some stuff underway out here, but uh, uh, the majority of this, I believe, was from earlier this morning and uh, afternoon time period. Uh, but it does look like things want to move out here across the West Coast in general with all this uh, subsequent movement there off the uh, Western Pacific. Definitely uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, just That's kind of an odd one. Just an odd earthquake here. I want to check out uh, some specifics here and see what we got. Um... various magnitudes here look looks like they went off this one 3.5 couple of these stations here reading a four pointer um but it when you average out all these numbers it spits out uh in average and then from there it uh determines the proper depth and location and magnitudes but uh man i'm seeing a couple of these uh up there in the four range all right well I guess we'll continue to watch California. As uh, far as Yellowstone goes, not a whole lot going on up there. The rest of the world, fairly quiet uh, for the most part. Um, Iceland activity. Let's see what we got over here around Iceland. Just going to cover this real quick. Not going to make this an extensively long update. Got about 78 earthquakes here. So away from Grindavik. This is up here along the rift zones, much further to the northeast. A little clustering going on up here. Uh, so overall heightened activity somewhat here across the divergent zone that this region sits on. So we'll continue to watch maybe for some increasing activity down here as well in the Reckoness Peninsula uh, and more concerningly around the Hagafell Slingerfell region where we've seen these last eruptive fissures take place. Happening soon, I, I have a feeling. All right, we did see a pretty decent uh, long duration M-flare. 
um, earlier. Actually, we're still just kind of coming down from that. That was from uh, 3590, the sunspot there of the source of many X flares and uh, many M flares here over the last week or so. Just kind of want to put this into motion and see if we can see that uh, large uh, low grade. It's a low grade M flare, but it was a long duration event. That's a mass, it's still a massive sunspot region. Right there, look at that flare. Whoosh! You guys see that? I gotta, I gotta pause that right there, and get that uh, image. Look, that is stunning to say the least. It does look like it may have shot off some type of CME activity there from that flare. Uh, it, it's not going to be earth directed, but uh, that, that was a, a beauty. Definitely a uh, nice looking. Uh, it looks like eruptive event there on the sun. Uh, really no auroras in the forecast for now. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, looks like Kevin put out a far side, near side sunspot uh, map. This is the current earth facing side of the sun, 3590. You know, just about ready to be off the uh, western limb here. We do have a couple other sunspots here. Looks like 3576 that will be getting back into view. From here, it looks fairly massive, but I'm uncertain, though, on the complexity of uh, 3576. We don't really have a, a, an excellent view, right? Obviously, it's back on the eastern limb, uh, coming back around the bend. That was the old 3576 that will be uh, renamed. But uh, kind of see some magnetic arches going on here across this area. Either way, it does look like the sun is, uh, you know, getting active here. So we'll continue to watch and wait and see if we can't get a, a nice CME directed to the Earth. That way we can spark up some auroras. I think that would be quite cool. All right, folks. Um, again, we'll catch you guys. Uh, oh, I don't know. I may come back here a little bit later on this evening uh, with a complete update. Just wanted to cover this earthquake activity there underneath the uh, Discovery Bay region. I just find that a little on the odd side that uh, it's directly underneath this area. Um, deep though, 11 kilometers. All right, folks, we'll be back here a little bit later on.